Hi folks, welcome to the Related Rates Recap. We're going to take a quick jaunt through the method and one example. So related rates are when two or more variables experience change, typically in relation to time, and they can be connected by an equation. And when we talk about that change, we're talking about derivatives with respect to time. So it could be a change in x with respect to time, or theta, or my favorite general variable, a poorly drawn unicorn, just to represent that it could be literally anything. When we do these questions, like with most word problems, we try to draw a picture first, then we'll define our variables and our relevant derivatives. So the relevant derivatives will be the rates of change that are mentioned in the question. Then we make an equation. We don't sub in any values yet. Differentiate implicitly with respect to time. Don't forget to tack on your derivatives because we are differentiating implicitly and there's the chain rule at play. And finally, solve for the unknown. Now just as a quick aside, for the don't sub in any values yet, there is an exception to that. If a quantity is not changing at all, meaning that its derivative is zero with respect to time, that's the case where you can sub in before you differentiate, um, but it's safest not to sub in any at all. Here's a question about Al, who's 100 meters north of an intersection and is walking away from it at a rate of 3 meters per second. So if I were to draw that, if this is Al over here, he's walking away, the distance is 100 meters, and the derivative would be, so if this is y, the derivative would be 3 meters per second. That derivative is positive because the distance between Al and the intersection would be increasing because he's walking away from it. Bob's 200 meters east of the same intersection, and he's biking towards it at a rate of 8 meters per second. So the distance is 200 meters, and the derivative would be negative 8 meters per second. The derivative here is negative because the quantity x is decreasing. The distance between Bob and the intersection is getting smaller. There's a bit of a drawing, and the distance between them would be given by that line that connects A and B. Let's take a look at a better drawing. Here's all the information we already cataloged. Since we know two sides of the triangle, we could use Pythagorean theorem to find the third side over here. We know derivatives for y and x. What we really want here is the derivative for z, which would be the rate of change of the distance between Al and Bob. So we've made a drawing, we've defined our derivatives, we've defined our variables, now we need to make an equation, and then we differentiate that equation with respect to time. So x squared becomes 2x times dx over dt, y squared becomes 2y times dy over dt, and z squared becomes 2z times dz over dt. I decided to divide everything by 2 in this step, just that my numbers were smaller, and then I sub in. I put in 100 for y, 3 for dy by dt, 200 for x, negative 8 for dx by dt, and then 100 root 5 for z. I sub it, and I get uh, dz by dt is negative 13 over root 5, or about negative 5.1. What that means is that the distance between them is decreasing at a rate of 5.81 meters per second. The negative means that z is getting smaller. I make sure I write my answer to show what it means, and then I'm done. So to recap, we make a picture, we define our knowns, and their derivatives. We find maybe that missing side. Then we go make an equation, differentiate that equation, clean it up, sub in over here, and finally get an answer for the unknown. As a last step, we would want to make sure that we interpret that result. If you'd like to see a question like this done in greater detail, Check out the first example on the Related Rates Day 2 lesson.